I did something really stupid, and I'm too embarrassed to tell you. You might as well just tell me, and then I can tell you how to fix it. <laughs> Guess what I forgot to do until I got to the cat. Close your canopy? No, I did that. I forgot to start up the left engine. So when I said, oh, um, so I was like, uh, yeah, INS nav, both engines started. <laughs> did when that I said, actually, oh, yeah, like... I got them both running. No, I had them both running then. I figured it out before I went to get a drink. <laughs> yeah, I totally taxied all the way over here and hooked up and everything and then realized, wait a minute, why is my APU still running? Oh. <laughs> you didn't notice that when you were trying to taxi, you were listing heavily to one side. No, because it really wasn't. <clears throat> huh. I handled just fine. I mean, I mean the Hornet's engines are pretty pretty close down the center line, but you still will get yawing effect with only one engine. Yeah, I just I don't think I was going very far, and I was kind of turning the whole way anyway. So, anyway, I am ready when you are. All right. Do you want to go first, or should I? You go ahead. I'll watch you take off. All right. And go with like five or ten seconds separation, but I am throttling up now. What's up? Wheels up, flaps up, nose up. Tail hook down. I mean, you could. Tail hook currently doesn't adversely affect aerodynamic drag in this airplane, as far as I know. Interesting. I mean, I guess it wouldn't have too much of an effect anyway. Nope. You also hmm. can't overspeed it, which you technically could do in the real airplane, of course. It'd be a bit like having your fuel probe out. Should be even less impact than that, really. Yeah, the fuel probe in this being out really doesn't do like what it does in the Tomcat. Like, I have to hold in a lot of rudder to stay coordinated with the fuel probe out. That's a recent thing, too. They added that fairly recently. Ah. Last so they made it harder. Hatches. They made it harder just as I bought the Tomcat. Yes, they did. Excellent. You also bought it right after, like, the wingtip vortices and the engine wash. What? What'd I do? Yeah, they made it harder just for me, hon. I know. That's what he said. <laughs> Damn it, Travis. <laughs> I am leveling off at Angels 20. Two. And I'm going automatic throttle control at exactly 400. Nine. And there are the RTs. Oh, see yeah, them? I see them. So there's like two distinct groups. There's like, again, there's like a, a bunch on the airfield itself, and there's a bunch like off to the side of it. Yeah, I see them. Which ones do you want? I'll take the ones on the airfield, target the ones that are off the airfield. Copy that. <clears throat> you have the waypoint set up. What's our range to Alain? Uh, 22.4. Okay. Let's get inside a 20 and then we can launch. All right. We're not really, we're not really super high, so the harms won't have super great range right now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cross over to your right. Oh, visual. We are 18.8. .8. All right. Let them fly when you're ready. Sensor select left, handoff. Magnum. That's a cool shot. And Magnum. Magnum. Turning cold. And Mag.
I turned left. Which way did you turn? Right. Okay. Us firing our missiles and then breaking away from each other probably would have made for a cool, like, gif. Oh, probably. I could try to play back the track file later. F6. Watch the missiles fly in. It's a good plan. It'll be really nice when the pre-brief mode for the harms are in because that's when you can get like the 70 mile range out of them oh really yeah what when makes the harms so first um they um uh they um they do a loft of oh, sorts okay and if you f if you fire them from like angels 40 and like greater than mach 1 mm -hmm. you can get a you can get like 60 to 70 miles out of them that'd be beautiful And I've got a, I've got a couple of shacks. Yeah, I just watched two of them. Turning back in on Ally Ian to see if the Harm Seekers pick anything else up. We'll do the same. And it looks like we have cleared all the radars. Oh, right on. I'm going to fly low over the airbase to see if a tor wakes up. Okay. I'll uh, just kind of point Sometimes my nose at the airfield. Happens. And... Yeah, that's basically what I do when I'm hunting for tors. I point my nose at them, and as soon as they pop up, I shoot them. <laughs> Rachel just said doing that is mean. <laughs> yeah, well, what they do to us is mean. Yeah, what they do, Travis is right, what they do to us is mean too, so we're just being mean right back. They, they, they pop up out of nowhere and then shoot me, so I'm just defending myself. <laughs> She's like, oh, okay, that's Val. <laughs> All right, if there was a tour, one would have hit me by now. Yeah, my scope's clean. All right, I am flying north towards Fart Bravo. It's just on my nose here. There is a known SA-3. I've got two harms, so... Yeah, there's, uh, I see a couple of them on the SA page. I see mm -hmm. where you're yeah, headed. So fly towards, fly towards that SA-3. That's roughly where Fart Bravo... Is that a preset waypoint? That is. That should be waypoint two. Two... However, it's set at a stupid elevation, like 2,000 meters or something, mm. so it's, like, floating in the air. At least it gives me the direction and distance here. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. SA-3. Mm-hmm. Got it on scope. Uh, range 21.5. I'm going to climb a bit here. That's a good plan. I'm pretty low. I think I see you off to my rear there. Yeah, I should be right behind you, just slightly to your right. Tally yep. flares? Tally flares. Visual flares. Yeah, visual. Visual friendly tally bandit. Mm hmm. Or how Yep. Alright, and let's Blind, say... friendly, and no joy. Uh, Oh, I'm being spiked, SA-3. Uh, yeah, that thing just woke up. Magnum, and I'm turning cold. All right. Turning cold. I'm dive for the deck and chicken. Yeah, the SA-3s are notorious for locking you in immediately. Tally missile launch. Thankfully, if you dive, you can drive missiles. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they'll crash into the ground trying to lead you. Yep. SA-3 is not exactly... Nails 18. Ah, oh, it's Shaq. Right on. I still have two harms left. You can turn back hot on that and pop the uh, search radar. Sure. 
Get some altitude here first and turn back. Okay, I'm inside a 17. I've got a good firing solution. Fox 3. Hand off and Magnum. And Magnum. Hey, I see your missiles. Turning cold. Air to air. Yeah, I think the uh, typical Frogfoot's harassing the Tarawa is going on over there, so we might as well go over there and take care of them. That's a good plan. So let's head back to the Stennis area. Did you get that guy down, though? I wasn't paying enough attention. Uh, I don't think so. I think my missiles were actually trashed. Bloody Spike yeah. 18. Nope, hit him. Never mind, he's going down. Okay. I just lost indication. I was about to go guns on him because I didn't want to waste another missile. Buddy Spike 18. Are you just in not radar me. trail now? No, that's not you? It okay. shouldn't be me. I'm not spiking anyone. Frog foots are at about zero seven zero. My zero seven zero. Yeah, I see him on SA. So zero point nine is your mock, and nine is your angels. That would be right. Six six one rifle. SA. If you're looking at me as a radar contact. SA contact. Hmm. Same difference. Yeah, I figured the symbology was the same. And then there's an especially unknown. with oh, yeah, two especially projects. with MSI and L Twiz turned on, and the symbology between the radar page and the SA page is more or less the same. I've got him on SA from Data Link, but I don't see him on my own radar yet. I wonder why? Oh, because my elevation was all the way down. How did that happen? That'll do. Yeah, that happened. I got one of them locked up, hot on me, 10 miles, fox. Oh, he's low. He's real low. He's down at, uh, he's down below 1,000 feet. Yeah. All right. Because they're, they're, they're strafing the, um, the Tarawa. That should hit him. And there we go. Yep, I got one. Got the other one spiked. He might turn and run now that I'm in the area. But uh, I'll let you get up here and shoot him if you can. No, go for it, by all means. I don't want to steal all the kills. Yeah, I think me shooting down his buddy made him turn tail. He's just, he's running away. Yeah, I see him there. Oh, he's turning around again. I've got him locked. All right, I'm going to separate a little bit so you can fly. Flash and shoot. All right, tell me when it's safe. You you should be good. All right. Box three. Hide is so busy. Should really declutter it. I don't find decluttering the HUD and the Hornet all that useful. Splash. It's going down. Mainly because the declutter modes for the HUD don't really remove anything. That you'd want. Mm, it's more of the RWR contacts that are all over the place, I think. Yeah, you can turn that off. Yeah, I could. He's there he goes. He's smoking. Smoking. Smoking, but still flying. All right. I got, I got just the medicine for him. Huh. Is 
Is that him? Oh yeah, there is. <laughs> I saw your guns. Uh, he's still flying. Wow. I overshot him hard because I was firing and burnt. Mm-hmm. I still got visual. Well, yeah, he's hard to miss now. I can get him. Ah. So how do I use the guns? Sense, uh, weapon select forward. Got it. Do I just put um, the thing on the thing? Yeah, basically. Uh, your default mode is the gun funnel. Mm-hmm. But if, um... Oh, now he's dead. There he goes. He just punched out. I've got a circle right now. Is it like a big, wide, hashed circle? Yeah, big circle, and I've got a diamond over him with a carrot. Yeah, so you so. basically got him in a radar lock, and you've got radar-assisted guns. Mm -hmm. So, like, you'll have, like, the floating gun sight sort of thing. I just put the so it's, circle on Yeah, him. basically, technically, it's a little bit more advanced than just putting the thing on the thing. You do, you do kind of want to lead him a little bit if he's maneuvering hard, mm -hmm. but... Yeah, put the okay. thing on the thing. You should get a shoot cue if it's good. And okay. then squeeze the trigger and burp. Cool. Right on. You can also go into the ACM radar modes if you're having trouble getting them. You can lock them up with the Jehemix if you want. I didn't even think of that. All that good stuff. Welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're going to learn how to use the guns. <laughs> That's a hot take right there. <laughs> Today we're going to learn how to use the guns in the Hornet. Uh, I'll see. How do we use the guns? I'll see. <laughs> I'm getting a little low here as I enter the groove. Fix. See you down there. Well, early it's average, average one one, one hornet, hornet ball, ball. five point seven. Whoa. All right, looking pretty good. That was probably a one wire, and yeah, it was. <laughs> I hit the deck a little. Stannis, red, red deck. deck. Quickly. Stennis traffic terminus downwind to enter pattern for case one recovery. Stennis traffic, traffic green deck. deck. Let's watch you. Hooray. Well, this should Don't be... fuck it up. <laughs> should be entertaining. Nails 29. I'm going to tell you right now. Tail hook. Thanks. Thanks. Still looking for that tail hook. Well, I'm not coming in now. I'm entering pattern now. If I'm not mistaken, your hook should be down now? long before initial. Yeah. Okay. 342, a little low, but... And you're good speed. Mm. Yeah, speed's good. Just need to come up a little. And... And you're way past the carrier, but... Gear Break. down. Break. What? Yep, that's Travis flying. Mm-hmm. It's a Canada 150 anniversary livery for the Hornet. Okay. Yourself trim for on speed. 
Working on it. You're a little, you're a little fast. You're climbing. Yeah. You're really climbing. Oh, I know. I'm floating like crazy. All right. I have to. I usually have to get. I usually have to push the nose back down as I'm waiting for on speed to sort of catch up. That's what I had to do here. There we go. Get some speed back up. Okay. Speed break out. A little high, really high. It's gonna be a long final. That's fine. When was the last time you landed a hornet on the boat? Um, a while ago. There you okay. go. Here we go. Let's turn. Verifier flaps are good. full. Flaps full. Hook down. And how about I go LSO cam if it works? Alt. Fine. Nope, I'm looking at the new Stennis again. Yeah, it doesn't work. <laughs> Stennis traffic terminus yes. ball. Fuel state 4.5. Saver 64, Fox 3 times 2. You're bouncing around a little bit, little rubber banding. Okay. Not terribly so. A little yeah. low, but... Oh. Yeah, ball says I'm a little high. Ooh, power, 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 power. That's going to be a bolter. Yes, it is. Bolter, bolter. Let's try that again, but a little smoother this time. Yep. Stennis traffic terminus, bolter, bolter. He says as he's a quarter mile off the front of the deck. <laughs> Watch that speed. What should my speed be? Well, whatever it mean whatever it needs to be for on speed AOA, obviously. Fair enough. I'm at one eighty one eight five right now. Yeah. I would I would cut your throttle before you level out. Mm-hmm. And use your speed brake if you need to. One thing you might not know in the Hornet is your speed brake is a momentary switch with the gear down. Oh, is it? Uh, you have to hold it to keep the speed brake out. That explains so, it's sort of like, so much. Yeah. Okay. That explains why I'm so floaty in the Hornet. Yeah. It, the speed brake effectively becomes like the Hornet's version of DLC when the gear is down. Ah, uh, gotcha. Engaged defensive near Dubai. All right, a little right to line up. Your angle looks, you're a little high, but your angle looks all right. Put the thing on the thing. If I swear to God, if that's a three wire, oh my God. <laughs> Is it? No, it was a four wire. Uh, you look, your hook looked like it was about to snag the three wire. You came down on it pretty hard though. But it's a trap. Any landing you can walk away from. 